Hello, my name is Celine Benoit from the Metropolitan North Georgia Water Planning District. Today, I'll be presenting upon leading plumbing fixture adoption in the Metro Atlanta region. To better understand planning efforts in the Metro Atlanta region, I wanted to provide some background on what the Metropolitan North Georgia Water Planning District or the district is and our role and responsibilities within the region. We are comprised of 15 counties to include 95 cities and six major river basins. Since our inception in 2001, our work has helped reduce the district's annual per capita water withdrawals by 10% despite having a growing population of 1.3 million individuals. The district's objective is to develop and implement strategies to both use water wisely and improve upon our water quality in the river's regions and streams. How do we do this? The district develops the Water Resource Management Plan that is updated every five years. This plan is enforced through permitting by the Georgia EPD, which is then adapted and implemented by local governments. This slide shows the district annual per capita water withdrawals and has been updated to include 2018 data. As you can see, we have been on a steady downward trend. However, this does not mean that our work does not progress. We need to continue to explore ideas and activities to perpetuate this trend. How do we think about these efforts and what can we do to in continue increasing water efficiency levels? These are our policy goals from our 2017 plan, and they will be upheld through this 2022 update. In the middle here, you can see that the overall goal is to improve our region's resiliency. This includes strengthening our economy, promoting our society, all while protecting our shared environment. The district is frequently presented with the following question from utilities and other stakeholders. With Georgia already a national leader on water efficiency, how much more efficient can residential customers become? Over this past summer, the district sought out to answer the question posed to us by examining market research and plumbing fixture efficiency. Our findings were published in the 2020 summer issue of the Georgia Operator. To address this question, we surveyed today's technological trends for indoor plumbing fixtures, examining those that meet current Georgia standards and those that exceed them focusing on their market availability, pricing, and customer satisfa satisfaction. We examined three different home improvement chains with 15 randomly selected stores across the district. To provide context, here's a table summary of our current state code for residential indoor plumbing fixtures. This first figure shows that the market availability of plumbing fixtures from the 15 stores we sampled within the district region. You can clearly see denoted in blue that for the majority of these fixtures, the number of existing models that exceed Georgia's current plumbing code far outnumber the number of products meeting our current standards. Additionally, customers demonstrated comparable or greater satisfaction with fixtures that are exceeding current Georgia code. Taking a closer look at toilets and shower heads, given that these two fixtures had largest quantities of products, both meeting and exceeding state standards, you can see that the price difference is fairly small. With products facing a larger price gap, the savings are still readily apparent via reduction in both the customer's water and electric bill. The EPA WaterSense program estimated these savings to be approximately $50 per year. This already exceeds the difference the price difference between products within the first year of installation with continual savings thereafter. So what are the opportunities for efficiency in the region? Data shows that the technology is already readily available to the public and being voluntarily adopted. Exceeding current efficiency requirements not only remains feasible, but is obtainable with future plumbing code changes. One of the district's roles is to research and share with our partners new opportunities for efficiency. We will continue to take advantage of the advantages of these openings through a meticulous and data-driven approach. This, this slide presents some overarching themes to maintain our national leadership in water conservation. Circling back to the first figure of our per capita withdrawals, the mass adoption of leading efficient plumbing fixtures will serve to continue reducing long-term water demands. 
This includes measures such as code changes and building standards, which usually come with low associated costs to utilities, limited requirements, and relatively cost effective. Georgia continues to remain being a leader in water efficiency standards, but technological advancements have created new opportunities for progress. New and existing plumbing fixtures are developing or are already currently available within the market, often at high saturations and readily adopted by consumers. The state's existing water efficiency standards were last updated in 2010, now 10 years ago. This covered fixtures such as toilets, urinals, shower heads, and faucets. Over the same 10 year span, the efficiency of these products has increased. Therefore, it is important that we continue to capture these levels of efficiency. State and local governments across the United States are already recognizing and utilizing water efficiency codes that either match or in some cases exceed Georgia's current standards. Given the increase in code adoption on a national level, this presents the district region with the opportunity to examine and enhance its own measures of efficiency. Research has demonstrated to include the study mentioned earlier by the district that indoor plumbing fixtures leading in efficiency standards are readily available in today's market, offer competitive pricing to fixtures meeting current Georgia standards, and have proven high performance standards and rivaling customer satisfaction. Voluntary adoption is already occurring. Even without code changes, new and renovated homes are purchasing, installing, and utilizing leading efficiency fixtures simply because they are in stores and on, on shelves. Additionally, there are current green building programs integrating leading standards into their efforts, which are being implemented in newly constructed developments across the region. This slide presents the district staff recommendations for mandatory code updates for indoor plumbing fixtures. These are based on other leading national standards in market availability of leading efficient products within the region. This flow chart shows the process for regional standard metro district code implementation. We have already presented this overview of plumbing code changes to our stakeholders, which includes our technical coordinating committees and basin advisory council. Feedback is welcome from our stakeholders to which the district develops model standards which will undergo a cost benefit analysis. This is then presented to the district board to be adopted and once passed will be adopted by local governments. Implementation of this plumbing code by local government would go through a building permit application to include these leading efficiency standards and product labels. With building approval, the installation is verified at time of inspection and then the property receives the certificate of occupancy. The district region is presented with the opportunity to improve upon our efficiency standards to continue being a national leader. Market availability of leading water efficient products has demonstrated that the public is already purchasing and installing these products. Updating plumbing codes would be a regional standard with local government implementation that would be enacted under guidance, review, and enforcement. It is important to remember that the district is currently in the developmental phase of our 2022 plan update. We are exploring various types of concepts and these will be refined as we progress to finalize a code. Implementing this code will allow the district region to continue to improve our region's resiliency. Going forward into the future, we must consider new and developing technologies and how they can help obtain our goals, especially as a region such as ours that cares about our economic growth, preserving our environments, and promoting our society. Thank you, and I'll be happy to take any questions at this time.